Namaste Seekers, welcome to Prince Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. This video is a special video and I'm trying to put forward a, an information that I wanted to talk about the movement of Saturn and Jupiter in the new year 2021. Tomorrow, the first day of the new year in the Gregorian calendar and we all follow this calendar for the sake of simplicity. Although it's not a new year as per the Vedic cycle or as per the astrology cycle, Sun is in the Mula Nakshatra, it is moving in the sign of Sagittarius. Nothing is actually changing with respect to Sun. But because we take this uh, junction as a new year, this is something, there is something that is happening in the month of January. In fact, it is happening right now as we talk, as we speak. But uh, less is discussed about this. There is not much information and it is understandable because the information it's, is itself not available in that quantity in the Shastras. If you get any link about the information of this particular nakshatra, do post the link in the comment section. It will be helpful for everybody. And the nakshatra is called Abhijit Nakshatra. Saturn and Jupiter is right now in Abhijit Nakshatra and we start 2021 with the dominance of Abhijit Nakshatra and the beauty is that Sun called Makar Sakranti, a very known festival, an integral part of the Indian culture, the Vedic culture, the Makar Sankranti, the transit of Sun in the Capricorn zodiac sign. It is happening exactly when moon leaves Abhijit Nakshatra. So the moon goes out of Abhijit, sun enters Capricorn. What is the significance of this particular transit? What is this Jupiter-Saturn combination along with the sun has to offer? In a very brief video, in a very generic way and in an academic sense, we will try to understand this. Stay tuned till the end to get to know a new information about Vedic astrology. And before that, do not forget to hit like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update. Subscribe to the channel and explore videos. If you want to take my consultation, the email ID is in the description box below. You can drop me an email. So let's continue with this unique position of Shani in Abhijit Nakshatra. Abhijit is a nakshatra which is very unique. It is one of, a, one of the brightest star, star Vega. It is hidden behind the zodiac of Capricorn and two nakshatra, Uttra Shadha and Shramana. Uttra Shadha nakshatra is ruled by sun. Shravana nakshatra is ruled by moon. Behind this, there is a 28th nakshatra. And in the ancient classical text, if I believe I have read it somewhere, that it was actually included, but then it was excluded also later on. This nakshatra is not 13 de uh, degree, 20 minutes long, but it's a very, very small portion of the sky that is ruled by this nakshatra. Interestingly, it starts with the last pada of Uttara Shada nakshatra. That means from 6 degree, 40 minutes of the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is a Saturn ruled zodiac. It is a dharma and it is a judge. It's a karmic house. And Uttara Shada Nakshatra is the nakshatra where all wars become victorious. It's a all strength nakshatra. Then there is a sun being the ruler of this nakshatra. There is a strong potential in this nakshatra. And the last pada of Uttara Shada Nakshatra is mean Navamsha. It is Pisces Navamsha. And Abhijit Nakshatra falls actually at this particular pada. Then it continues till 10 degree 53 minutes 20 seconds of Capricorn sign. So it's a very small duration and it is said 1 15th of the first pada of Shramana Nakshatra. So most of the energy of the Abhijit Nakshatra falls in the Uttarashada and one part falls in the Shramana Nakshatra. Shramana is ruled by Moon. Sun, Moon, Saturn all combines to shape the energy of Abhijit 
and it is always working behind the scene it is always working something which is happening from from the back it's a kind of a support system the lord and the deity of this nakshatra is brahma himself the creator it is the nakshatra of creator abhijit itself the word means the victorious one the ever winning one so anything that is done in this nakshatra is said to be fruitful if a war is initiated in, in this nakshatra it is said that the the person is going to win because it is a very auspicious nakshatra and the use of this nakshatra is done to calculate abhijit muhurt the time in the day when it is said to be a very auspicious hour and whatever you do in that hour will turn out to be optimistic positive and it will be in your favor but only matters of dharma adharma cannot take favor from this nakshatra now you start the year with saturn already transiting into this nakshatra jupiter transiting into this nakshatra shani is a judge he is going to judge your actions abhijit is about being victorious initiating something in this in this time frame waging a war against the negativity going within thinking deep taking a track of our actions and judging ourselves when saturn is in abhijit nakshatra it is judging the action of humanity and while jupiter is also in the abhijit nakshatra for a brief period of time jupiter is trying to give you the utmost auspicious knowledge so this particular 15 20 days when the energies of saturn and jupiter are aligned in this nakshatra it becomes a very auspicious time for dharma and for the people who follows dharma it activates a new you can say a new dna inside a human body not literally but from the spiritual way a spiritual dna is activated the consciousness is lifted up the entire platform is now vibrating at a very high frequency a frequency more closer to the divine when you make the best use of this nakshatra when you make the best use of this transit you will see that the energies are more global than local it's a collective consciousness it's like every single person is a photon every soul is a photon particle but the globe is a ray of light the entire humanity form a chain of photons forming a ray of light saturn is public it defines politics it defines people who are underprivileged who are hard workers it defines people who manages the law executes the law when saturn is in abhijit nakshatra it is their victory the victory is for the hard working class the victory is for the class who deserves the victory is for the class who is working for you what are you doing for them is the question saturn is asking in this nakshatra are you beginning your year are you beginning 2021 with a global agenda with a global consciousness because anything that you do or start in this nakshatra although other planets are favoring it because saturn is in abhijit saturn is going to stop all non dharmic activity when i say dharma i am not talking about religion i am talking about righteousness right path saturn is duty and responsibility and jupiter is called wisdom so this month of january you will be made aware of all the duties and all the responsibilities and a spark will come from the soul that will make you aware your task is to listen otherwise this abhijit nakshatra this energy of abhijit nakshatra will go waste come to 14th of january sun is about to move in the sign of capricorn it's a very marvelous move we celebrate as makar sankranti the transit in capricorn it's a time frame when the when the entire india celebrates it's a festive festive festival in itself but see the magic moon is at 10 degree 53 minutes on 14th of january sun moves in capricorn moves our moon moves out of abhijit 
माइंड इज विथ अभिजीत सैटर्न इज विथ अभिजीत योर माइंड मस्ट बी फोकस्ड टूवर्ड्स अ मोर धार्मिक पर्पस योर सोच सोल योर पर्सनैलिटी शुड वर्क फॉर अ ग्लोबल कॉज एंड यू शुड बी रेडी टू मेक नेसेसरी सैक्रिफाइस ब्रिंग नेसेसरी चेंज टू अचीव समथिंग दैट इज फॉर अ हायर पर्पस यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू बिजनेस से टू गॉड से टू शनी दैट सम पार्ट ऑफ इट विल बी डन फॉर अ गुड कॉज इफ योर कर्मा इज एसोसिएटेड विथ धर्मा इफ योर कर्मा इज एसोसिएटेड विथ charity helping people you will see automatically the karma initiated in the month of january will have a huge push the push will be from the universe itself and you will see that you are now in a way different time zone your your acceleration the way your horoscope behave is completely different krishna said this to arjun that in nak in the all nakshatras he is the abhijit imagine that is the power of this nakshatra So in the month of January the people who are struggling will come out and we can see some revolution the truth will come out sun is going there light will come and equality will start coming in for the society society as a whole will change jupiter is there so finances will change the distribution of finances will be more equal and what we play what role we play in this is more important because it's not that we are going to get judged by the karma somebody else do we will be judged on the karma that we do so make your karma very positive money wise this is good karm wise this is good but if you follow the responsibility that is on your so shoulder try to find out the abhijit muhurta every day you want to start something start in abhijit muhurta it is different for different locations You want to write a book? Write the first line in Abhijit Murtha. Pray to Saturn that if this becomes successful and you get some money, you are going to take a part of it for the welfare of other people, for the welfare of poor, for the welfare welfare of underprivileged, because those voices will be heard now. And if you play a vital role, Saturn's blessing will come. You have any kind of Saturn shrap, Shani related dosh, Saturn related curses or problems. in this abhijit murt if you show that you stand by saturn you stand by dharma and you are ready to refine your karma maximum of your saturn related problems will be resolved just simply by taking one initiative so abhijit nakshatra is always associated for taking initiatives taking the first step starting something new you do the right thing and the universe will give you the necessary push the abhijit murt must be calculated and you should do any kind of auspicious activity you can pray to lord vishnu just chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and bow down at the feet of mahavishnu in this beautiful nakshatra and the shani is the power shani is the strength and if we are judged positively the entire year becomes extremely positive and this month is very important for humanity this month is very very auspicious right now on 21st sun saturn and jupiter was very close to each other we have seen the great conjunction and now we see that just after the great conjunction it's abhijit universe is showering its blessing on us we are alive in this point of time so there must be some reason there must be some reason that we are alive today if you are watching this simply because you are watching itself becomes a karma and it is a purpose this message is being reached to you there is a motive there is a purpose your horoscope is making you aware of something be aware find out the responsibility fill all the gaps this is the month when you do things which are extraordinary because abhijit is the nakshatra of extraordinary activity make the best use of it thank you guys thank you for watching punis astrology let's meet in the next video till then namaste